Hi, I'm Andre, uh, service manager at USA Medical Supply. Today we're going to go over how to assemble this uh, Medline hospital bed. Uh, we're going to go over the process of how you get it uh, to your door and we can drop ship it uh, for free. Um, it's great to buy from a certified dealer, Medline like we are, because you will have uh, guaranteed support over the phone. You're never going to be uh, left alone on your own to figure this out. So just wanted to go over a um, few things of how this bed works and what's it capable of. So this is the remote and this top row, uh, obviously self-explanatory, but it raises the head um, section. And then the second one, it's going to raise this middle where your knees are, right? And then this third row, it's going to raise and lower the entire bed. And this is great for uh, somebody like an aide that is maybe taller and they don't have to, you know, bend down too much. Uh, and it also helps the patient when they don't have to, you know, bend their knees too much and they don't feel comfortable leaning down. And you can call us today at 413-733-7843. And we can drop ship this to your doorstep in a few days. So just to save some time, we didn't really show how you're going to get things out of the box. We think that's pretty self-explanatory. There's going to be some zip ties in there, some cardboard that you can just recycle, things like that. But let's assume that you took everything out and I kind of just separate them like this. You know, I have these uh, frame sections here, I have the hand rails there, then I have the footboard and the headboard and this shaft, right? Um, it's over there. So the first thing that I usually do um, after I, you know, you put them in, in sections like these, I put the um, bottom side of the frame or where the motor is, this is where the legs are going to be. I put that down like that. So you can just tell that where the motor is, that's, that's the one that should go down first. And then you take this other one, right? Because there's gonna be these um, little, you know, notches that are gonna, gonna go and slide in here. And we'll show you how to, how to do that, right? And the best thing is to, you know, grab it like this. And so now when you put it up, see how you have to align? See that one and the same thing with this side right here. See, that's supposed to go in there and you go in all the way on both sides. That went in there, and then you start to let it down. So it's gonna go down, it's gonna basically lock in place there. All right, so now the you know, head um, section is locked with the foot one, the legs one. And what you do next, raise it up like this on the side. It should be on this side, not the other. And then I, I usually do this, and I'll show you why. And then here, because you have to lock these um, wires in. See, now you're locking this section here where the mattress would be. So you got these eyes, I guess you call them hooks. And that's that. So now that's there. And the next step. You know, you can do it like this. I'll just put it down so I can show you a little, you know, um, easier. But you can leave it like that for efficiency if you don't want to raise it twice, right? So if you put it down, now you have to put the motor. The motor would go there. This is the motor right here. So you'll see that the motor, you know, when it comes in, it has spots for batteries. If the batteries are not installed, obviously just, you know, Put the batteries in, and then you can tuck them in like that, and that's it, okay? And then it's going to have the remote, and you see that it's coiled in, and it's plugged into this left side port. You cannot mix it up because it would not go in this other one. So you see how this connector type only fits in there, and only fits this way. You can't do it backwards, right? It has a notch. So just make sure it's plugged in there if it's not already. And then that's it, the motor's ready to go. The other thing I want to tell people, look inside, and there's those white 
um, you know, actuator motor brackets that have to be pulled in all the way. If for some reason one's sticking out, it's not going to be able to be installed there. So you would, if the battery's installed, you would be able to just press down on both and these are going to retract inside. You want them to be like this, fully retracted inside before you install it, okay? Then take the motor and uh, the best way to remember how to put it, because you can install it wrong, you know, so you would press the, you know, the head piece and, and the, the knees would go up, right? So the, the best way to know how to install it correctly is you have these two sections, these motor, um, you know, protrusions or whatever. So these are supposed to be pointing outside, not towards the center, but outside. And that's going to make sure that you have the motor installed correctly, because you can fit it the other way too, but that would be incorrect. You're going to have the remote backwards. Make sure your wires are not in the way. So see how that's seated all the way? Over here, it didn't. So you just press it, clamps like that, right? So remember these two bulges towards the outside, okay? And now you have to you know, put these caps that are going to hold it from falling down when you flip it over. And these have slots, and one of them is narrow, one of them is wider, so it's always going to only go in one way, right? So you look which one is the narrow one. It goes here, so it would go like that. See how I'm sliding it in? And then just, that's it. So that clicked in place. So this is if you, when we turn it, you know, the right side up, the motor is not going to fall down. Same thing with this side. See, you can do this where I did not put it on the slot. So you see how it's not in. It's not going to go in. So make sure it's seated on both sides all the way. And then when it clicks, it goes in the middle. You got it. Got the right one. Now we would have to plug in this motor. This motor is to raise the entire bed up and down. Take the wire, try not to have the wire through this and anything like that or through because those are going to go up and down so you don't want this wire to be caught in. Just make sure it's loose. And then that second slot right there next to the remote is where this plugs in. And again, it can only be plugged in one way like that. It cannot be plugged in backwards just like that, okay? Make sure that's fully in. That's good. <clears throat> now we are ready to turn it again. As I said, you could have done this while it's upright, but you just have to be more careful. You're going to kind of have to support this while you're locking it in and all that. But, all right. So I'm going to raise it again. This way. Always watch the cables. Watch your hands. Your hands can get pinch. That's why I'm wearing gloves, right? Because you get all these kind of moving parts. Be careful with that. I usually bring it one side at a time. This way you're not lifting the entire bed. I'm doing like a safe lifting technique. This is the cable. This you're going to reroute afterwards. So now we got to lower it this way. So see how I'm, I'm going in front of it where it's going to lower. You know, when I was doing it the other way, I was, you can't do it from the other side because you're going to drop it. Again, let it down like that. You can use some cardboard or some blankets if you're worried that these metal pieces might scratch your floor, things like that, okay? So now we're ready to put these sections on. Now the headboard, uh, sometimes they can come out without um, the lock cast is installed. If they do, if they're separate in a bag, it's very simple. You just, you know, install it like that. It's got a ring. It goes in there. So where would you, you're going to notice two of them have the brakes, two don't, right? Uh, you can do, you know, pretty much whatever you think you should, you know, sometimes what we do, we put them diagonally. So we put a brake on like that corner and another brake here. If, for example, you're going to install this somewhere where you're going to
put it in and you don't have access to the brakes, you can do brakes only on one side, right? So you can always lock it from both sides, right, with the brakes. So that's totally up to you. Okay, so I'll take the headboard and you're gonna know which one's the headboard. Sometimes it has a sticker, it says head and foot. If it doesn't, uh, the taller one is the headboard, right? So see the brake is on here. And roll it. So right now, this is gonna be a part where it's a little more challenging to do it if you've never done it before. And if you have two people that can do this, it's gonna be a lot easier, right? Because we're gonna to have to get these two in here to load in here. And you have to do that at the same time as the other side. You can't do one side first and then do the other, right? So the only way to do it is to raise this level, can be crooked, and load it at the same time. And it's very easy when you do it, one person from this side, one the other, you're watching this, and that's it. But if you don't have two people, you can do it like this too. See now, I'm loading this side, and I also have to load that side. So see how now that's loaded, that is loaded and locked in there, right? So the, the only way to do it by yourself is to grab it from the middle. This way, this is not gonna balance. It's not gonna really uh, you know, go more to one side because you cannot do one side first and then the other, okay? Now we have to do the footboard. So for the footboard, the motor has, a little bit, I don't know if you'll see it, has this spring actuated, you know, um, bracket that goes on. It has to be locked in there because when you're gonna put it, if it's outside, you won't be able to install it. You have to have it locked in that position. If it doesn't come like that from factory, just push it in, unlock it. We are gonna unlock this um, a little later step. <coughs> so we're bringing the footboard. Obviously, the orientation is that these um, metal uh, hooks have to face the bed, right? You, obviously, you can't put it in like that, right? So, turn it. Make sure you have it this way. Another thing I do sometimes to help is if you have this kind of going everywhere, lock it in place so you're at least going to have a little more stability when you're holding it with one hand and you're doing, you know, we're lifting it. So we have to repeat that same process. So I put it in here and here, and it looked really easy, but if, if you're doing this for the first time, it might be a little challenging. So just try it or have two people. Now we have to put this shaft back. So see how I unlocked it. When you let it in, it's gonna, lock in with the motor. If it doesn't line up, don't worry about it. Just put it just put it just on the tip. When this is gonna start turning, it's gonna fall in there. As long as you get the that little pipe in the middle a little bit. Should be good. Alright. So we have that. Move the remote one side or the other. Um, you can now plug this in. So you're gonna Maybe ask why do you have to plug it in if it has batteries as well? Well, the plugging in is for the motor that, you know, spins for that motor. The batteries are, are like backup batteries, so you can test it now. See, I'm pressing the headboard. If you had this backwards when you'd press the headpiece, the knees would have went up. So that's how you know you had this flip. Now we're going to test the knees. So that goes up. Now, if you test these, you're gonna see the motor spinning right there. You can see it. However, nothing's happening because we have to install the shaft that goes from one end to the other, right? So I'm gonna do that next. It's this right here. Now, when you get this, it's gonna have different numbers. Starting from here, this is just for different size beds. And this basic one locks in at 15. You just press 
and move you go further but you have to be at 15 right there is a spring in here that's going to put tension right so you get this end the short end you put that towards the motor under not through the through the any other you know metal pieces just go under just go in there and goes in those notches and then same thing here you're gonna press see how it does not line up but all I did I put it there so when the motor is gonna start turning or you can do it manually that's it now it locked in there both places so now when we try the bottom row you see how that's and you can see on the foot how it's putting it lower right so what I what I'd like to do see how on this one is all the way at the bottom but the head uh, sorry the footboard is not see how much higher I first go all the way down so that bottomed out and now I'm waiting for the footboard to bottom out So there you go. One very interesting thing, and some people think this is something wrong or it's broken, and I want to you know tell you it's not. You can still hold this, and it's gonna the motor is still gonna spin, but nothing happens with the height of the bed because it reached the bottom and it's on like a free kind of spinning clutch system. It's not gonna stop. So you'd be like, why isn't it stopping if it reached the bottom? It's made like that on purpose so nobody burns out the motor, right? So you're going to see if nothing happens, you went down all the way, the motor's still spinning, it's supposed to do that. Same thing when you go high, when you go, you know, up, same thing. It's just going to go high at some point and then it's going to stop rising, but the motor is still going to be spinning until you're going to let go of the button, all right? So you can test at this point how high it goes and if everything's, if everything's working right, okay? All right, so I'm just going to leave it here for now. And we already tested. This goes up and down. Same thing with the knees. The first time you put it in, it's going to take a little while. So you're going to press the button. You might hear this the sound, but nothing's going to happen. It's just because that white actuator that I showed you in there takes a little bit of a time to start pushing on that. So just be patient. Just keep holding it. At some point, it's going to start to, to move, okay? And now the last step is the optional, well, not the last, the second to last, is the mattress will be last. It's these guys. So this is an interesting system. I'll show you how this happens. If these come not pre-installed like that, like separately, I'll just show you how to do it. Oops. So this has to go from this side, and then you put the spacer on, okay? Not, not here, not like that, just like this, put the spacer. Thank you, Rich. And it has to be pointing down, right? Because you see this is where it's going to lock it. So start threading it. And don't do it a lot, just leave it loose for now, because this is how you install it. See, there's going to be a sticker here. So it's going to go, there. that's the big crossover, it's going to go right here. So the way to do it, you do the bottom first. The bottom has to lock under this lip, under the bottom lip. You lock the bottom first, and then you put the top. See, and while that's locked, then you start tightening it. And you keep tightening it. See now how that squeezes it, completely locks it in place. So it's still going to be wobbly until you're just going to tighten it until you don't see it playing there. And then just lift that or raise it up. Locks are very simple. If you don't need to install these, you don't have to, but all right, so that's that. Um, I'll do the other one.
quick. There you go. Works. Now I'm going to put the mattress on. I raise this guy up like that. And just make sure it's still that's all right. That's gonna keep it from sliding too far. You have your remote, you can have it on this side or you can go under the bed and have it on the other side. And once again, everything works. You uh, place it in the position you want, like on the floor, and then just lock the brakes. All right, so this is gonna stop it from moving, which is which is it's important because if you don't want somebody to try to lean on it and for the thing to start rolling from under them, right? So that's that. And I mean, this is it's kind of the basic um, bare bones. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put some more things on it, which are like additional options that you can, you can get, you know, like an overlay mattress, some, you know, uh, uh, bed table, things like that, uh, some bed sheets, and you know, you can get those as additional options, but uh, and then we'll come back to kind of show you how it looks after that. But this is about it.